Okay, hi everybody and welcome back. Today we're taking a closer look at the ACSS R grid. Uh, this reticle is designed for medium to long range and is compatible with any caliber because it's using a, a mill grid. Uh, it's actually based on the uh, PS01, PG07 and, and the actual ACSS uh, standard reticle. And uh, I'll go through and show you guys some of the features and how it actually works. Uh, let's get started with the uh, horseshoe chevron tip and um, kind of explain what we were after there. Uh, the horseshoe allows you to be very fast, uh, your very fast acquisition, especially under the lower powers, anywhere from four to eight. Uh, it appears like a small red dot almost drawing your eye to the center of it. So any kind of fast acquisition it's ideal. Uh, furthermore, the chevron tip allows you to be very precise because it doesn't obstruct the target. You have a very small, fine aiming point. Uh, and the horseshoe is also one mil apart, so it's one mil left, one mil right, and we'll get into that when we get to the actual uh, grid of it. So that covers the horseshoe. Uh, if you notice over here on the right, there is a ladder, and that's an auto range ladder. Um, it's set for 510, it's the average height. So if you had a, a standing target, I can very quickly uh, put the target in into this uh, scale here, and it would tell me how far away that, that target is. So in this case, it's about 600 yards. Uh, this allows you to be math free and very quickly range estimate your target, not only the height, but you could also do the center mass. So let's say you had a prone target uh, using the horizontal bars. As you could tell, that first one was too big and that one's too small. So you're somewhere in between, I'd say about 450 on the uh, horizontal range. Uh, show you guys the uh, so here it is it's it's ranging center mass 18 inches so that's 18 inches at 400 500 6 all the way down to a thousand and at the same time vertically it's ranging 510 for 400 500 all the way down to a thousand again uh, then we get down to these this area right here and uh, what we did here, this is actually a mill broken down to point 10 and beyond. And the reason we did that is it allowed you to range estimate your target far more precisely than you normally would. To where if you're using just a standard mill system and uh, you go to range something using uh, uh, one mill apart or even half a mill apart, it gets very confusing and you end up not sure exactly how many mils away this is to where this is broken down. Think of it as a ruler very, very finely broken down. So this is 0 0.10, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So we can tell this is 0.35. I mean you can break it down to the five. Each one of these markings is one tenth of a mil. So you can even break that down from the tenth of a mil. So that, that it gives you far superior range estimation than you would normally find in other reticles. Um, and the number one reason shots are missed in sniper competitions is wrong range estimation. So that's a very crucial feature. Um, here's a, a picture or a breakdown of what you're looking at. This is your 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Obviously the edges would be 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, and so on. And... Then we get into the grid itself, and uh, as you can see here, we've we've correlated the grid, uh, meaning from the chevron tip down is one mil. It's also one mil left, one mil right, two mils down, two mils left, two mils right. So that way you don't get confused. So very quickly, if I say six and two, here's six, here's two. So you'd simply hold six mils down instead of having to adjust your turret, or, you know, worry about losing zero and simply hold two mils over for wind, drift, to lead, whatever whatever is happening at that time. Uh, you can also 
this also allows you to get further out. Um, you know, most people say, well, why do I only, why do I need so many mills in wind when it, it doesn't affect it that much until you get further out? Well, you might be shooting at a thousand yard zero and you're shooting out to 2,000 yards. Well, uh, the wind will drift that much at those distances and that comes in very handy. So it's not only easier to navigate through, so very quickly I can go uh, five and three, let's say. And, and navigate on the grid, but it also gives me a, a bigger area for extended ranges. Uh, furthermore, uh, we have the mill marks across 5 and 10, just like any standard mill uh, optic. And um, it's this would be perfect on any kind of uh, precision from an AR-15 to a 300 Win Mag, um, you know, any kind of high precision bolt gun. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and look for more stuff to come. Okay, you guys, here we are on the other side of that. Uh, as you can tell, I can group pretty easily on it. This is at a thousand, um, holding a six and a quarter mil hold and um, about a quarter mil for wind. I should have held a little bit more. Uh, but as you can tell, a thousand yards, you can easily do it with this optic. Uh, you don't need to have some super crazy expensive optic to do a thousand plus yard shooting. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it and look for more stuff to come.